as I have the singular honor and the privilege to invite the representative of the Vice President of a nation, Professor Yomi Oshimbajo, who is represented here by the current Minister of Trade and Investment, Oke Enelama. You're welcome, sir. Let somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nigeria, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you will agree with me. It's a very special privilege and honor to be invited to pray for your nation. Not everybody gets an opportunity to come together as we have gathered today to pray for Nigeria. Um, on behalf of His Excellency the Vice President, I bring you his greetings. He's been here before. He would have wanted to be with us today, and I know he's praying for Nigeria. It is now time to pray for Nigeria. But before we start, please permit me to join others in appreciating, acknowledging, thanking our convener and former head of state, His Excellency General Yakub Gowan and his wonderful wife. Also permit me to join the rest of us in thanking our dear host, who is an exemplary Christian and father in the faith, Dr. Kumiyi and his wonderful wife. God bless you, son. God bless you, man. Thank you very much. It is now time to pray for Nigeria. Brethren, I'm going to say one thing begin, before we begin to pray. It is my experience, and I'm sure many of you will agree with me, that when people truly pray, they get results. When people truly pray from their heart, because God looks at their heart, they get results. So I want to challenge us not to treat this as a ritual, not to treat this as a program, but to look at this as an opportunity to speak to our Father from the depths of our heart. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 13, you will seek me, that is God speaking, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. May God see us searching for him with our heart today in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to be praying the first um, set of prayers, the first prayer session. We'll focus on prayers for security of our nation, for the internally displaced persons, the church, and unity of Nigeria. But before we begin to pray, please permit me to read from Psalm 124, Psalm 124 verses 1 to 3, and verses 6 to 8. This passage will anchor this first session of prayer. Psalm 1 to 4, verses 1 to 3, and verses 6 to 8. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, now may Nigeria say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. Brethren, it's time to pray. You will agree with me as we begin to pray that the prayer of thanksgiving is the rightful place to start. It's the best place to start. Let me remind us that the prayer of thanksgiving is a prayer of faith. So mean the thanksgiving in your heart for what God has done. We're going to begin to pray now. First, let's thank God for keeping our nation. Despite all trials and challenges, despite all negative predictions, despite all the problems, let us praise God for his goodness towards our nation. Brethren, let's begin to pray. The Bible says that except the Lord keeps the house or the city, the watchman waketh, but only in vain. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, oh, the enemy would have swallowed us up. 
Let's thank him. Let's bless him. The psalmist in Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Why don't you bless the Lord? Who keeps us from the snare of the fowler? Who despite our iniquities has chosen to love us, to keep us? Father, we have come to thank you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Brethren, let's thank the Lord. Let's bless the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the loving Father, the heavenly Father. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made heaven and earth. Bless the Lord that keeps you from danger. Despite all the challenges, despite all the negative predictions, despite all the problems, let us praise Jehovah. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our God in heaven. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your sure mercies. Thank you for your everlasting love. Oh, Jehovah, we are grateful. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Next, we are going to pray that the Lord will tackle the security challenges facing us as a nation. The security of lives and property in all parts of Nigeria. In every part of Nigeria. Let's pray that God will put an end to the spread of killings in the northeast and the north central areas in particular. The kidnappings and sundry violent crimes across our land. Let us pray that the Lord will arise and fight for our nation. Delivering Nigeria from the onslaught of the devil. Let God arise and let all his enemies and the enemies of Nigeria be scattered. Let's begin to ask God. Let's begin to petition heaven. Let's begin to knock. Let's begin to ask. Let's begin to seek. Let's begin to knock. Say, Father, oh, except you watch the city, the watchman, work it in vain. Except you watch over Nigeria, we are helpless. Except you help us, we lack help. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Come and help us, Father. Tackle the complex, varied security challenges we face as a nation. O oh Lord our God, our eyes are on you. Our faith is in you. Our trust is in you. Without you, we can do nothing. It's of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. Because your compassions, they fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Father, our eyes are on you. We are crying to you, O Lord, to have mercy on Nigeria, to save Nigeria, to bless Nigeria, to help us in the midst of the challenges we face. Oh, have mercy on us, O Lord. Help us, Lord, to tackle the security challenges in every nook and every cranny of Nigeria, in every part of Nigeria. Left to us, we are unable. Left to us, we can't do it alone. Except the Lord helps us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, the one that watches over Jerusalem. The God that watches over his own. You neither sleep nor slumber. You are the God that rules in the affairs of men. When you say yes, who can say no? It's of the Lord's mercies that were not consumed. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus wonderful name we have prayed how many of us believe that god is hearing and answering our prayers say a louder amen 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 next let us pray for the security of the lives of those internally displaced persons the idps the internally displaced persons we must remember them at this hour, at this moment. That the Lord will comfort them. That he may intervene so that they will return to their homes and quickly too. Now begin to pray as if you are the one that has lost your place. Oh, let us call on his name. The Lord is looking at our hearts. Remember the weak. Remember the displaced. Remember the entirely displaced persons at this time. 
and invite the God, the defender of the weak, the original defender of the weak, to come and help our internally displaced persons, to come and provide homes for them, to come and restore, to come and rebuild, to come and give them beauty for ashes. Oh, that the Lord will have mercy. Oh, that our king will have mercy. Oh, that our father will have mercy. David said, oh, that I drink water from the well, which is by the gates of Bethlehem. Oh, that our entirely displaced persons will return to their homes. Oh, that God will remember them, especially at this time. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal the land. God is in the business of hearing prayers. Call upon him this hour. Oh, ask him to intervene. Oh, ask him to help. Ask him to come and rebuild the broken homes in Nigeria. Ask him to come and make a way where there seems to be no way. To come and provide water and shelter in the midst of the challenges. He's the original defender of the weak. He said, before you call, I will answer. While you are yet speaking, I'll hear you. He said, call upon me and I'll show you great things you do not know. God can help us. He can give us the ways and means to tackle all the problems we face, especially in helping the entirely displaced persons. Father, we are looking up to you. We need you, Father. We need you this very moment. Come into our nation. Come and rule in our affairs. Come and provide Jehovah Jireh, the great provider. Oh, come and bring peace in the land. Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. My Father, my God, our eyes are on you. We are looking up to you, Father. Except you help us, we cannot help ourselves. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on our internally displaced persons. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Next, let us pray that the church of Jesus Christ in Nigeria will rise up as a bastion of righteousness, as a model of holiness. Let us pray that the church will faithfully walk in the steps of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and obediently walk for the expansion of Christ's kingdom in our nation. Let's begin to pray. You are the church. I am the church. Let us pray for ourselves that the church of the Lord will rise as a bastion of righteousness. God is looking for apostles of righteousness, champions of righteousness, models of righteousness. Let our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Father, help me to shine as light. Lord, empower me. Help me to hunger and thirst for righteousness. We are the church. Teach us to model the way. Teach us to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. The footprints of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's time to lead. Let our lines so shine before men that the world will see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Father, come and help us to shine as light. May we shine as light. May we be the light of this nation. May we model the way. May we be exemplary Christians. May we be model Christians. May we bring joy to our nation. Oh, that the church will stand for you. Oh, that the church will walk faithfully in the steps of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, put in us the spirit of obedience. Put in us the spirit of obedience. Help us to obey you. Help us to be willing and obedient. Let the world see us and know that it pays to serve the Lord. The psalmist said, come and test and see that the Lord is good. Oh, help us to show the way the way to serving the Lord, the way to loving the Lord, the way to praising the Lord, the way to pleasing the Lord, the way to honoring the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You model the way. May we follow your way. May we follow your footsteps. May we walk in your footprints. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Finally, let us pray that our nation will experience a heaven
that will experience heaven on earth, that all our people from all parts of the nation will march forward as one in the overall interest of our nation. Let us pray that the Lord will reverse all the differences, ethnic, religious, social, tribal, that have hitherto worked against the unity of Nigeria. Let us pray that the Lord will plant love for our fatherland in the hearts of all Nigerians, that we may see eye to eye and work for the peace of Nigeria, for the progress of Nigeria, and for the development of our nation, Nigeria. Let's begin to pray. We are praying for a new Nigeria in the hands of our Lord. Just begin to talk to God. God answers prayers. Nothing is too difficult for him. Oh, if my people who are called by my name shall pray and humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal the land. Oh, talk to the Lord this morning. He wants to hear our prayers. He wants to answer our prayers. We are praying for a nation that will experience heaven on earth. Oh, we want to experience the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We want our people from all parts of Nigeria to work together in unity, in harmony, in oneness. Oh, let us call upon the name of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of peace. When our ways please Him, even our enemies will be at peace with us. Oh, Father, come and bring unity to our land. We are praying for a new Nigeria. We are believing you for a new Nigeria. Except you help us, we cannot do it, Father. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for your goodness and mercy. Glory be to your name in the highest. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, behold the prayers of your children. Father, answer us speedily in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we know you have heard us. We know you love to answer our prayers. And we believe with all our hearts that these prayers are not in vain. They have already answered us. We will see results, rapid results, quick results, excellent results. And the world will testify that this morning we have been with Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have the privilege to bring to the podium the representative of Ogun State Governor. He is Barista Taiwo Ade Olua. He also is the current Secretary to the State Government. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our Father in the Lord, Baba Kumuyi, Amama Kumuyi. Of course, our Father, General Gowan, Amama Gowan, we pay our respects. Please permit me to stay on protocols as already established. I agree to sir. Mine will be short, but we must start by expressing our gratitude to Baba Kumoyi for this opportunity to participate in this program and stand on your pulpit. Thank you, sir. The scripture is very clear. He says, if my people which are called by my name shall pray, I will hear them from heaven. I pray that your sacrifice today on account of Nigeria will be rewarded by the Almighty God. Mm. The second prayer session is anchored by His Excellency, the Governor of Ogun State, for who I stand in humble representation. And the Bible reading is taken from the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 19. It says, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out thy heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy hands towards him for the life of thy young children, 
that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Brethren, we are going to pray for our youths, the youths of Nigeria and the educational system in Nigeria. The first point is for us to thank God for the gift of children and youths in our nation. Sometimes we complain more about our youths instead of praising God for them. A nation with nearly 60% of its population as youths is a nation with hope. Let us thank God for our youths who had the hope for a better, greater, and a more prosperous tomorrow. Let us pray. Our Father, we commit our youth to your hands. We ask you to divinely gather our youths. We ask that you will take control and for our land, for our nation, uh, there will be hope for us tomorrow. Let us pray that the Almighty God will nurture the youths of this nation into a mighty army that will conquer greater heights, accomplish mighty things, and take our nation to a height he that is unthinkable. Let us pray. Let us pray that the Almighty God will tackle all the vices that the devil has unleashed on the youth of our nation. Let us pray that the Lord will deliver our youths from the scourges of such vices, such as greed, drug addiction, and criminal activities. Church, let us pray. We pray that God will destroy the specter of hopelessness that has gripped our youths, leading them to engage in unwholesome practices and lifestyle. Let us pray for our youths. The Almighty God will hear our prayers. Let us pray that the Lord will give our governments at all levels the wisdom to tackle the decay in the nation's educational system. Let us pray that the Lord will turn our educational system around, making them a place where teachers and other public officials serve faithfully and proudly. Let us pray that our schools will once again be centers where the character and intellect, the mind and body of our youths are molded so that they may grow up to be God-fearing, patriotic, and responsible citizens. Let us pray. Church, let us pray that all ongoing crises at all levels of the educational system of the nation will be brought to an end. Let us pray. The Almighty God will turn around the fortunes of our educational system. Our nation will rise from strength to strength. Our nation will move forward. Our youths will be our pride. Our youths will be our pride. Our youths will be regenerated for tomorrow. And God will glorify in life our youths. Our original sector will grow. We will go back to that days of pride. The Almighty God will hear our prayers. He will honor our needs in prayer. And at the end of it all, in the life of Nigeria, in the life of our youth, the Almighty God will be glorified. I thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much.